Um, somebody called Kyle asked, if old art venerated gods in an if oh, sorry, I beg us read this again. If old art venerated gods, then in an increasingly less religious country, what can new art draw on for inspira for inspiration? Well, let's do what you can do what I did, invent one. Yeah. You know, and 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 because I think that's one of the things I was quite envious of. Of you know, a lot of the art that I really love, sort of. Um, kind of uh, uh, northern renaissance altarpieces and things like that. You know, I was always envious of the fact they had this sort of culture around them or they had their own belief and they had, they had a definite thing to make art about and a, and a narrative. They had all the biblical stories to make it. And it was very clear. So what they could t concentrate on was the kind of the, 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 the character, the form and, and, and the style. And they could concentrate on that. And I was a bit envious of that because for me, I have to come up with the ideas as well, <laughs> which is a bit of an imposition on the modern artist, you know. <laughs> and so... Um, <laughs> So, I, so I, that's why I kind of brought Alan into the equation, because then I had something to make art about, you know, that was a kind of, I hate the word spiritual, but was a kind of spiritual entity, you know, that I could kind of use. And then as he becomes more well known, then he almost sort of fades into the background and you just look at how he was treated. And that becomes the... Yeah, because I don't, you know, I found it interesting as a subject.